All right, guys, today we're here with Jackson. We're gonna do a little bit of a virtual workout. So this is a video that you can click on and you could work alongside with Jackson. He'll take us through a series of stationary ball handling drills. Now remember, when we're dribbling, we want good wrist control, we want good finger pad control. We don't wanna slap the basketball. We don't want to uh, be fingertips. We want finger pads and good wrist control, controlling that basketball. Okay, one, one we would like to warm up with is just ball slap. He's gonna work for about 30 seconds with each video or with each drill. This is good to wake your hands up. It builds strong wrists, brings strong hands, makes you a better finisher, a better ball handler. Okay, the second drill we're gonna go into is what we call our V-series. So we like to find a line on the floor and he's gonna work right hand front to back. So he's working the back of the basketball, the front of the basketball. Okay, and he wants to create a good V with the ball. So he's going from back to front, back to front, really creating that V. Okay, now he's gonna to switch to his left. And here you'll see his right foot's ahead of the line, his left foot's behind. Good, he's got good control of the basketball. He keeps his eyes up, his knees bent, nice and relaxed. Okay, now square up to the line. He's gonna bring his feet square to the line. And this is your front V. Here he's working side, outside of the ball, inside of the ball. Good. Keeping the basketball nice and low. And you see how that ball's making a V from his hand to hand. Okay, now switch to the left. And here again, he's making the V. Now you gotta work extra hard, right? Part of basketball is whatever you do with your right hand, you've gotta be able to do with your left. Or if you're a left-handed player, whatever you do with your left, you've gotta be able to do with your right. So you wanna develop that weak hand. Okay, now I want your left foot in front of the line, right foot behind. Now this is a pound dribble, and we want that ball to hit back behind his right foot. Okay, so this is a good, drill to start out with, especially for you young players. Let's keep the ball a little bit lower. Good, we want to keep that ball about waist and below. And keeping our head up the whole time. Okay, now switch. Okay, now left hand. Let's have the ball hit a little further back. Good, this way he's able to use his body to keep between the defense and the basketball. All these drills can be done backyard, sidewalks, basements, gyms, whatever you have access to. Okay, square up again. Okay, now we're gonna do pound dribble with your right hand. Here again, would you good wrist control? You're just hitting the ball outside your foot, good. A little bit higher once you're pounded about waist, good. Okay, now we call this one machine gun where we're gonna go nice and low. Good, this one's a little bit more finger pad, a little bit more fingertip, just trying to build good strength, nice control with the basketball. This is a tough one to do. Okay, 
Okay, let's switch over to left hand. We're going to go left hand, pound dribble first. Now machine gun. And this is tough here because you can see Jackson's using his weaker hand here. He spends a lot of time working on his left, so it just shows you got to put a lot of effort in to develop that weak hand. Okay, now we're going to go to our pound crossover series. So this time he's going to pound it with his right hand. He wants that dribble to hit outside his right foot and then he crosses it over to his left. So it's pound, cross, cross. And now switch to the left, he's going to go pound, cross, cross. Good, you see he's wearing out. This is a good conditioning drill as well. This is a great one before you start your shooting or your offensive work. You can work your stationary ball handling. Okay, now we're going to get a little more advanced. Now he's going to do the same thing, but instead of a pound dribble, he's going to do an onside dribble, and then he's going to go cross, cross. So onside, crossover, crossover. Do you see that onside? Okay, now switch to the left. And then our last drill we're going to go is another crossover series where we're going to go pound between the legs and then cross it back over. So it's pound between the legs, crossover. Let's go to the left hand. Okay, good job. So you can see that's about eight and a half minutes uh, that, that is a good quick workout you can get in you can get that in your basement you can get it in your backyard you can get it in if you have access to a gym the first part of that if you're a beginner about the first four or five minutes is something you could really strive to do those last couple minutes is a little more advanced but this is a good drill for everyone even if you are advanced ball handler these are things you have to work on repetition 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 good job we hope you enjoyed today's virtual workout